and welcome to Clean Freak and Germaphobe. Today I'm going to tell you how to give a newborn baby a bath. Now, if you are a new mom or a dad coming to watch this video, first off, congratulations because having a newborn baby is awesome. They are so wonderful and I know you love them so much and I also know that giving them a bath can be intimidating and a little scary your first time. But never fear, I'm going to walk you through it step by step to teach you how to give them a bath where they will enjoy it and it will be relaxing for them and it won't be stressful for you. But first, if you're new to Clean Freak and Germaphobe, my name is Diana. I had a baby four months ago. This is my fourth. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, sweetie. On this channel, we love to clean and organize and disinfect. If you're new here, it would mean the world to us if you would hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you'd be notified of our future videos. But without any further ado, let's talk all about baby baths. Shall we give you a bath? Let's do it. Mm. For starters, I usually recommend that you have some sort of baby bath. I like the flower baby baths because I like how you can adjust the petals to fit whatever size of sink you have. They're also very padded and soft, which I like too. Turn on the water and let it run till you reach a nice warm temperature. Check the temperature with the inside of your wrist. That is more sensitive than your fingers and will help you know better if the water is too hot or too cold. Once your sink or baby bathtub is full, turn off the water. I don't recommend having the water running if the water runs directly onto the baby. If you or the baby accidentally move one of the water handles, you can unintentionally burn the baby or turn the water too cold. Make sure you have everything you need for the baby's bath before you put the baby in the water. This is very important because once the baby is in the bath, if you forgot something, you will have to take them out of the bathtub to go and fetch whatever you forgot. Never ever leave the baby alone in the bath. A good rule of thumb is to always have at least one hand on the baby the entire bath time. If you have a light warmer in your bathroom, go ahead and turn it on. You want your baby to be warm and comfortable. Your baby will enjoy the experience so much more if they are warm. If you don't have a light warmer, here's a little trick I use to keep my babies warm. Get a small towel or a large washcloth. Dip it in the water and place it on their legs and tummy. Periodically pour more warm water over the towel. Uncover whatever part of the body you are washing and then cover them back up. This keeps them so much warmer. So once the baby is in the bath, use a moistened cotton pad to gently wipe the baby's eyes. Use one cotton pad for each eye. Then use your wet washcloth with your favorite baby bath soap. I've used Johnson & Johnson for all four of my babies. I love the lavender smell. Make sure there isn't too much excess water dripping from the cloth. Then start with your baby's face. Be careful not to drip water into their eyes. And once you've washed their face, be sure to rinse off the cloth and then wipe off any soap from their face. Then move on to their arms, tummy, legs, and lastly, their diaper area. Clean the bum last. Once you've cleaned their diaper area, don't use that same cloth to clean other parts of the body, since the diaper area is usually the dirtiest. Babies come with lots of little skin folds, and it's one of the things that makes them so dang cute. But you need to make sure to clean and rinse all those folds. Don't forget, under the neck, in the armpits, and of course, those cute pinchable leg folds. The last baby part to wash is the scalp. I recommend that you do this last so that the baby doesn't get too cold with a wet head. You can use a soft bristle baby brush if you like. I just use my hands to gently massage the scalp. Be sure to get behind the ears and then rinse. Most babies love bath time, but don't be concerned if they don't enjoy every second of it. I often bathe my baby in the evening to help them get into a nighttime routine of bath time then bedtime. I also really enjoy this quiet one-on-one -on -one time with my baby. It's a wonderful time for you and your baby to bond. Once they are done, I have their towel ready. And when you pick them up, Make sure you have a good hold on them because they are a little slippery. Wrap them up quickly so they don't get cold. Before I start the bath, I like to have their jammies and diaper ready to go. But before I get them dressed, I choose to use a baby lotion. My baby loves it when I gently massage the lotion over their legs, arms, tummy, and face. Be sure to rub the lotion in your hands first to warm it up. Now that my baby has her diaper on, she's dressed and warm and sleepy, she is all ready to go down for bedtime. Uh, or maybe not. 
So I hope this video is helpful for anybody that's a little bit nervous to give their baby's first bath. Bath time is really a Hi. wonderful time. Yeah. It's a wonderful time to bond with your baby. Babies really do enjoy bath time. It's soothing and it's calming to them. And it's really wonderful one-on-one -on -one time with your baby. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You know what? I would love to know in the comments section about your baby. Do you have a boy or a girl? <laughs> At the end of this video, I will put our video about how to get baby stains out of baby clothes. If you have a baby, you're going to have a lot of stains. So click on that video and we will see you over there.